Hey everybody, Joe Casabona here, and today I am going to answer a question I get a lot, which is, how do you add the footnotes to your blog posts? So I'm going to show you a quick example, then we're going to go over three ways to add footnotes. The manual way, which is using HTML, the way I do it, which is through an app called Ulysses, and then a plugin that will do it for you. So let me first show you what a footnote is and how it works within the context of WordPress. Uh, so I'm going to scroll down here to the first footnote, uh, which you can see here, there's a little one. I should probably style this a little better so it stands out more. But if I click on it, it will jump down to the bottom of the page. If I scroll up a little here, you can see it's the end of the blog post. And then there's the footnote. And then there is, this is a question mark. Uh, I could fix the theme to kind of show like a back arrow. But either way, when I click on this, I go back up to where I was. So footnotes in WordPress are just links to more context that lets you jump out of the post and then back into it. So with that, let's go ahead and see how we do it. First, we are going to do it the manual way. So here you can see I am in a blog post. Uh, this is one that I'm working on uh, <laughs> about baby clothes. And I have a paragraph here and I want to add a footnote right to the end of this, right? So the way that we would need to do this is first by adding a little bit of HTML. So I'm going to click on the three dots for this paragraph and choose edit as HTML. And then right after PJs with no space, I'm going to add the HTML I need. So first I'm going to add an A uh, for anchor. Then I'll add the attribute class. We're going to call it footnote. Most themes should support a class called footnote. If it doesn't, then there is a way that you can style it. Maybe I'll add that to the end of this video. Uh, then we'll say href and we'll use the pound sign and I'll just say fn1 for footnote one. The last thing we want to do is give this an ID uh, because we need a way to jump back to this. Okay, so the way this works is we're using internal links on the page. We're referencing an ID in the href, but we also need an ID for this anchor. So we'll just call this uh, FFN1. That's what Ulysses calls it. Um, maybe that's for find footnote one. Uh, and then I'll add the less than sign or bracket. Uh, and then the number one, because this is the first footnote. And then that's it for this. So I will uh, edit visually. And we see the one shows up next to PJs. And then we want uh, to add our footnote later, right? So I'll add a bunch of paragraphs here. And then I'll add the heading footnotes. It's real big. And then I will add my footnote here. So first I will make this numbered to uh, match the number in the post. I'll paste the text, which is this may not be comprehensive. Uh, and then I will add the uh, the HTML we need here. So again, I'm going to edit as HTML. Uh, I'm going to, so we've created an ordered list here. I'm going to assign this the ID of FN1. Okay, so now uh, we know where we need to get to. Uh, I might need to fix something up here actually. Let me double check this. Uh, yes shouldn't have the pound sign in the ID there. Okay, so FN1, that's the ID. And then at the end of this, we'll just, uh, so we'll do href. We don't need to add an ID to this link. So we'll just say FFN1, because that's the name of the footnote, we uh, the marker that we called it above. And I'll just put the word back here so that we don't have to worry about icons or anything like that edit visually. So now if I preview this, all right, oh good, there's some space here. So if I click the one, it jumps down to the bottom of the page. And if I click back, it jumps back up. So that's how you add 
uh, a single footnote manually. If you want a lot of footnotes, of course, you'll need to do that multiple times. And uh, lot, most people don't have time for that. So I'm going to show you now how I do it. And I use an app called Ulysses. Okay, so here you can see the same post in context. We've got the quick primer paragraph here. And Ulysses is a great writing app for iOS and Mac OS that supports Markdown. And so I can easily add a Markdown footnote here by adding uh, a parenthesis. So I'll say paren, fn, close paren. And then Ulysses automatically creates a footnote here. And then I'm going to add that same text. And then to get out of this box, you can either click out of it or just press escape. And then I'm going to click save or uh, con command S. And Ulysses has a built-in WordPress publisher. So I can publish this to my WordPress site. Uh, I don't need to right now, it's not ready, but we could see it's a 2020 preview and it's got the footnotes here. So I click the footnote, it jumps down to the footnote, uh, it, then it jumps back up and I have a second one somewhere in here uh, and it'll jump to that too. And the beauty of this is that Ulysses automatically creates the numbered footnotes uh, when you're ready to publish. So you don't need to renumber them or anything like that. So that's how I create it with Ulysses. Uh, this is a, an app I absolutely love. I always write in Ulysses and then send it to WordPress. But I know uh, there are a lot of you who might not have Ulysses or are looking for a native WordPress way to do it. Uh, and there's a solution for that too. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. We'll go to plugins, add new, and there's a plugin called Easy Footnotes. Uh, it's by Jason Yingling. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, I'll click install now and then activate. Once activated, there is a new menu in settings under Easy Footnotes. So we can create a label, which is cool because I would love a heading above the footnotes. I'm sure I can add that in my theme. Uh, so we'll say ins insert, uh, and then uh, we have our options here. But the thing that we need to do is grab this short code. Uh, so this short code will allow us to add footnotes wherever we want. So I'll click update options, and then I'll go back to our post. And then I will get rid of my manually added footnotes. And we'll fill this out a little bit. Just add a bunch of text here. I am using text expander to automatically insert some lorem ipsum here. Uh, so then we will add our footnote. So I'll paste that. Again, that short code is EFN, easy footnote underscore note. And then uh, the this is not a comprehensive list. And then we can do that in other places too. So I'll just add another footnote here. EFN note. Hello there. And EFN note. Okay, so we've got that. As far as I know, there's not like a footnotes block. I don't know why there would be because this is just in line. So now if we save this draft, we can preview it. All right, we've got our, first of all, we've got our footnote. It is in line, which is amazing. And it's got the title text here. It's styled. If I click on this, it'll jump down. It's got the little arrow. It's got the heading. If I jump back up, click on the other one. So I really love that this plugin actually inserts it. If, so if I hover over, I can see the footnote. That's a really nice touch. Perhaps something I might consider uh, in the future as well. But there you have it. There are three ways to add footnotes to your WordPress site. The old-fashioned HTML manual way. The Markdown way using Ulysses. Or any other app that supports Markdown and publishing to WordPress, I presume. Or there's the plugin Easy Footnotes, which uses a short code and creates a really nice implementation. Thanks so much for watching this video. 
If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to this channel for more great content.